Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. Iraq and the United States have recently inked multiple agreements regarding military aviation and air defense, as announced by Iraqi Defense Minister the Bet al Abbasi on April 21, 2024. These agreements were signed in Washington during a visit led by Iraqi Prime Minister Mohammad Shia al Sudani, as reported by Ruda. Described as turnkey contracts, these deals cover various aspects of military aviation and air defense. Al Abbasi explained during an interview at the Soleimani Forum that representatives of the Iraqi Defense Ministry signed these contracts with their American counterparts. Prime Minister Sudani's visit to the U.S., which commenced on April 13, included high level meetings with President Joe Biden and Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin. At the Pentagon, Sudani underscored Iraq's eagerness to acquire military expertise and equipment, emphasizing the necessity for a robust security partnership amid the current unstable regional climate. The Iraqi delegation successfully secured a substantial contract worth nearly half a billion dollars to bolster the capabilities of the Iraqi armed forces, as revealed by Yehia Rasul, a spokesperson for Sudani. This agreement signifies a significant milestone in bilateral relations under the Strategic Framework Agreement with the United States. This isn't the first time Iraq has procured U.S. military equipment. In the past, Iraq acquired the Avenger Air Defense System. The Avenger is a mobile air defense platform armed with eight FIM, 92C Stinger missiles and a 12.7mm machine gun, designed to provide protection against low-altitude air threats due to its rapid-firing capability and high mobility, boasting a maximum road speed of 105 km per hour, weighing 3,900 kg. The system is utilized by various countries, including Taiwan, Ukraine, the United States, and Iraq. Technically, the Avenger system's missiles can engage targets up to a maximum distance of 3,800 meters and at altitudes of up to 3,800 meters as well. Each missile's warhead weighs 1 kg and is of the HE fragmentation type. Equipped with a fire control computer, AFCC, a land navigation system, a handheld terminal unit, and a remote control unit, RCU, the Avenger ensures precise and effective operation in combat conditions. Although lacking armored protection, the Avenger's lightweight design enhances its mobility and rapid deployment. The vehicle measures 4.95 meters in length, 2.18 meters in width, and 2.59 meters in height, and is operated by a crew of two. Primarily utilized for rapid air defense missions, it offers immediate response capabilities against nearby aerial threats. Additionally, Sudani engaged with representatives from General Dynamics, a prominent American manufacturer of weapons and military equipment, to explore potential cooperation in rebuilding Iraq's military infrastructure, particularly in terms of supplying tanks and armored vehicles. That's all for now, see you later.